Okay, we just drilled the hole in the slider. But if I tried to play this on the harp, you'll hear little clicky sounds because the underside is sharp. That's a sharp edge. And it also would be sharp to the tongue. So the next thing that we have to do is to use the Dremel with this cone-shaped stone to um, to smooth that edge. So we got through our drilling. That went nicely, in good shape. Pretty well done with this. Pretty well done with this. And now we go to this smoothing. A lot of handwork, huh? There is a lot of handwork in making a slider properly. They have to be correct, though. So I'm just going to come in. lip is going to be touching this, so it has to be comfortable to the player, which means no sharp edge to the tongue. It would be like a hole on a harmonica, you know, that sometimes they're just a little bit sharp. How am I going to test it? Take my tongue, see if it's comfortable. <laughs> That's how I'm going to do it. Now, on the underside, it has to be done too, but for a different reason. So it runs smooth on the slider. So easy to do. Huh. Now it's quiet. Slide oil. Put it on the mouthpiece. Put it on the inside of the slider. You can see the inside of the slider is like glass. Perfect. Now, just for luck, <laughs> I always give it a final sand on the underside here. I'm going to wipe off the bottom of the sandpaper because it will now sit on top of the heart. I'm just going to give it its final dressing and see how I'm looking here. That's what I like to see. A uniform sanding pattern. What do I mean by a uniform sanding pattern? I'll show you. Uniform sanding pattern here shows that the entire mouthpiece was touching the slider in a proper manner. And that means that it's totally airtight. So we'll go back and how do we know? We test it again. Sliders are used with slide oil. Again, I'm very happy with the feel of the top to my lip. It will be sterilized, of course.
little bit more. Ah, that's what I want to see. Now I'll flip it. Give it another orientation. Oh. Now, the lines are where it's sanded, because the holes can't sand. The lines, and you'll see they're uniform top and bottom, which means, again, this is a sign that this slider is absolutely and totally smooth and perfectly shaped to the mouthpiece. If that sanding pattern didn't look like that, it would mean that the slider was not touching the uh, mouthpiece perfectly. That's what I like to feel. Okay, so what it means is, is that the underside of this is absolutely perfectly fit to here, and when I took off the tape, there is a little different shape, so it is fixed, and this is a 100% functional slider. Beautifully made, perfectly shaped. It might be the nicest slider I ever made. You know, when the reason is that this one cannot go too much this way. In the past they moved quite a bit. This one I put a, a you know, the edge came down further and touches the, the actual covers so it doesn't have much movement but it has beautiful movement this way and of course we have lovely movement this way as well. Now, over time, as this is played, it will get smoother and smoother and smoother and smoother. But this, uh, this instrument's in great shape and is ready to go. So we'll go up and do a sound test. <laughs> 